Hey, what's going on everyone? Joseph here. This Sunday we have our church cookout from four to seven. Right now it's at the new, uh, where we're gonna have the new location at and off of Brushy Creek. But if it rains, we will have it here in the worship center, still from four to seven, still cooking everything, still gonna play all the games. If you have games, bring them, board games, card games, and even some dominoes. If you want me to, to beat you with some of those games, bring them, I'm all here for it. But we're looking forward to seeing you this Sunday from four to seven on the church cookout. Hello, Wells Branch Community Church. We're going back on mission this summer to Tanzania from July 17th through July 30th. We'd love for you to join us. Total cost of the trip is $3,500 and we are on an accelerated timeline. This is because the trip was not originally planned due to the COVID pandemic. Additionally, this trip is gonna be much more physically demanding compared to previous years. As a result, no minors will be allowed on the trip unless a parent or legal guardian accompanies them. Now, if you're up for the challenge, want to share the gospel with the unreached people groups by partnering with the local ministry, along with James and Didi, our full-time missionaries in Tanzania, Africa. Sign up so we'll be in the back and we'll get you more information this week. Thank you. Also, I hate selfies and there was no one else to record this. Sorry. Thanks. So excited to see the world emerging from COVID. And I know a lot of us have been in isolation for a really long time. We've been working from home, we've been playing at home, we've been Zooming, we've been doing so many different things isolated from the rest of the world. But I wanna call us out, especially as the world has, has become a lot safer place, uh, to meet in person. Hebrews 10, 25 says, don't neglect the meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encourage one another and all the more as we see the day drawing near. And so my heart is, and the heart of the elders is that by June 13, we'd be prepared in ourselves to come and meet together again in person, whether that's outside at our 8.15 a.m. service or that's inside at our 9 or 10.45 a.m. services. So please check us out, find out what fits best for you, and we'd love to see you in person on June 13. Hey guys, I wanted to jump in and just let you know what we're gonna be doing for our worship services this Sunday as we gather together as one family of believers. Uh, typically, we would gather at 815 outdoors at Calvary Worship Center, uh, and we're gonna continue to do that 815 service outdoors, but we're gonna relocate that from Calvary Worship Center uh, to here at Wells Branch Community Church. And so what that's gonna look like for you if you're gonna attend the outdoor service is you're gonna come to the church parking lot. Uh, you're gonna kinda walk towards the sidewalk like you would normally do uh, and follow the sidewalk towards the deck entrance. And if you keep looking down the sidewalk, walk, you'll see a courtyard area uh, that, that is in between two buildings. And we're going to start uh, meeting outdoors there on Sunday mornings at 815 and not Calvary Worship Center from here on out. Um, that service is going to stay consistent, especially for people that aren't ready to come back in person yet or still struggling with coming indoors with people. We want a service uh, that can be transitional for you, uh, that you feel a little more comfortable with and kind of get your feet wet with being around people and coming back to church. And so um, on top of that outdoor service at 815 here at Wells Branch Community Church, we're also doing a 9 a.m. and 1045 a.m. service like normal. Uh, those will be mask recommended. Uh, we're going to keep that consistent for now. And uh, it's going to be streamed online through Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch for everyone who's still at home and needs to uh, uh, tune in uh, in some form uh, for worship. And so we have all these options for you to come and engage with us uh, this Sunday. We are excited for you coming uh, to worship with us, and I'm looking forward uh, to worshiping together uh, this Sunday as we gather as one church. We're excited to see you on Sunday morning. We'll be going through Revelation chapter 7. And in Revelation 7, we see God comforting his people. When you hear God comforting his people, you're thinking, well, he ain't comforting me. And that might be because you feel self-condemned. There's all the stuff that you've done. There's all the stuff that you've sort of, um, you're experiencing pain-wise of, of the challenges of our world. Or maybe you just feel lost in the crowd. That, yeah, I'm sure God is working out life for somebody, but for you, you're just one of many and he doesn't see you for you and your you-ness. And then perhaps maybe, you just feel like your struggle has been forgotten. And I want you to remind you that God is God who loves you and he wants to care for you. And even in the struggle of um, your life that you're experiencing now in pandemic, post-pandemic, as we are, are moving forward in our world, we need to know that our God is for us and he's gonna be comforting us in the midst of our struggle. Thanks for checking out our weekly update. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at info at wellsbranchchurch.com. Thanks and see you Sunday.